Well, the Calgary Flames playing their first of nine meetings against the Toronto Maple Leafs this season and uh, first of back-to-back -back games here at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. But it's the Leafs that come in and take this one 3-2 the final in what was a very entertaining game as we welcome in Matt Stage. And uh, what did you make of the first appearance uh, of the Leafs in person? Yeah, it was a very entertaining game. Two, two, two highly skilled teams that have gone off to great starts this year. Uh, you know, their special teams have been good. Their goaltending has been outstanding all season. So it was a good battle. I think a, a sign of lots of quality hockey games between these two teams. Um, unfortunately, the Flames just fell a little bit short at the end. Well, we talked about the Calgary Flames having the five days off to get some work in, some practice time, some downtime. Uh, what did you make of uh, their start to this game and the way that uh, they responded to the, to the time off? Yeah, I thought it was fine. You know, I, you always take a few shifts and a little bit of time to get back into the game. Um, you know, each player has to find their way. Um, but, you know, I thought it was pretty evenly matched. I think, you know, there's a few things you want to clean up. Mark Sherman had to save a few breakaways uh, to keep the Flames in it early. Um, but at the same time, you know, the Leafs came in and played, traveled yesterday and had an afternoon game today. So both teams had their challenges. But uh, in the end, it was an entertaining game. Um, and I believe the Flames could have easily tied it up late. Yeah, a couple of really good chances, a couple of really good looks at the third period. This was the goal that made it 3-2 uh, in the third period. Elias Lindholm on the power play. Sean Monaghan and Lindholm get the two goals for the Flames. But uh, one thing you'll notice in this homestand especially, a current theme developing here, and that is uh, it's difficult to beat Jacob Markstrom clean, so you're going to need a bounce or two. The Toronto Maple Leafs certainly got that on all three of their goals here tonight. Yeah, and this whole homestand, you know, no no puck has beat him clean. Um, everything's been deflected. Everything's been off a of body or, you know, there's a scramble. Um, so, yeah, I guess teams want to score on him. They better get some traffic and, and some bounces because, uh, you know, he's had about five or six breakaways and odd man rushes and, and you know, three on all this homestand and he's saving everything. So, um, you know, he looks calm back there. It's such a confidence boost for, for the Flames. That's why they brought him in and, um, you know, it's a sign of good things to come for, for this team for uh, a long time. There's one of those breakaways on uh, Mitch Marner in uh, this hockey game and uh, obviously, as you mentioned, solid back there. Makes 31 saves for the Flames in a losing cause. Uh, but certainly not something you're looking at uh, improving as far as uh, what you have to do better on uh, Tuesday night. Uh, back half of this uh, home uh, home set against the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, coming up on Tuesday. And, of course, we go right back at it. Matt Stajan will be alongside once again for the postgame show here on a Tuesday night.